Good evening. Welcome, everyone, to the Selectman's meeting for May 23rd, 2016. Our first item on the agenda is a discussion for Memorial Day 2016, and we have our Director of Veterans Services, Jeff Jeffrey A. Chunglo. Mr. Chunglo. Good evening. Good evening. So I just wanted to take this time. Memorial Day is a week away. Just update the board and the residents on our Memorial Day ceremony. So um, it's a very special ceremony this year. Um, not only that it's Memorial Day, it's also the 150th anniversary of Memorial Day. So that's an added feature. Uh, but this year for the town marks a special event. We're dedicating the last veterans lot at Mount Pleasant, uh, the last veterans burial lot. So it's going to be dedicated in honor of all the men and women that have served in the global war on terrorism campaign. Uh, so the Veterans Council has worked very hard uh, putting everything to together in place to get this ready to go. Uh, so I think that's going to be a very special event. There is a change this year. This year, the ceremony will be conducted in the town hall. The ceremony will start at 930. And the reason for that change, uh, there's a number of reasons. The biggest one is, um, for me, it's important that we honor and respect all of our veterans. So I want maximum participation. When I speak to a lot of the older veterans, they're hesitant to come and participate at the square because there's no seating and they have to walk distances. So the focus would be here to provide the seating, transportation, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but then the other big factor is it uh, eliminates weather conditions as well. Mm. Uh, so we'll have a very nice ceremony indoors. Um, we will be providing transportation for the older veterans from the town hall following the ceremony to Mount Pleasant Cemetery for the wreath laying and the unveiling of the new monument at Mount Pleasant. Um, so, so that is a, another caveat to draw people in. Uh, this year for the ceremony, I'm pleased to announce that we are going to be honoring three World War II veterans, hmm. which is unprecedented. And, and there's a, a very special note for one of them, but I'm not going to be a, a spoiler. So, so you have to come <laughs> and you have to you got a teaser there. All and right. get the details on that one. So three World War II veterans, a Korean veteran, a Vietnam veteran. And then for the global war on terrorism, we're doing an in memoriam uh, for John O'Reardon. So he was a Arlington resident that died during that campaign period. Um, so his wife, Patty, will be representing him this year. Um, One of my cheerleaders, Molly, is his daughter. So. Okay, very good, yes. Um, so for the ceremony itself, um, we have obviously our, our local uh, speakers that will be present, as well as uh, the state officials, but our keynote speaker is going to be Major General Jeffrey Clark, so former commanding officer of Walter Reed Bethesda Military Medical Center, um, now director of the Defense Health Agency in Washington. So he'll be arriving, uh, he agreed to speak, so a very, very exciting speaker, a family practitioner, so he still practices. He's very in tune with all the veterans' needs as well as family support. So he's a, an excellent person to be able to speak to this campaign era that we're going to be honoring. Um, and in addition, I have comments from Tom Kelly, uh, Captain Tom Kelly. He's now president of the Medal of Honor Society. So I had invited him to speak. He agreed last year, but he was elected president. So he'll be in Washington. So. Uh, but he passed along his remarks. Um, so it should be a good day. So 0930, the ceremony will start. Uh, we'll introduce everybody. It'll be a, a semi-military ceremony, but should be uh, worthy of, of the town. And, uh, and then we'll have the wreath layings at the cemetery and then the unveiling of the new monument. Thank you. That's great. Uh, um, any questions? And I think you, were you going to speak to, and if you did, and I missed it, I apologize. I was trying to log up my Nova's agenda. Uh, an event Sunday evening? Uh, no, that's a, a separate event. That's a separate event? Yes. But that's something that um, all of my colleagues have been uh, notified Surprise. of? Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Uh, any questions? 
If not, uh, thank you. All right. And we'll see you on Memorial Day unless... Sounds like a great event. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you very much. And also, you know, the, the members of the Veterans Council. So couldn't do it without them. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Next we have the consent agenda. We have the minutes of the meetings of May 16, 2016, along with an addendum to May 16, 2016. We have a request for a special one-day beer and wine license, June 4, 2016, at the Robbins Memorial Town Hall for a private event. Samantha S. Escher, Stephen Reinstein. We have a request, special one-day beer and wine license, again, June 4, 2016, at the Arlington Senior Center for a private party, Jill R. Singer. We have for approval the third annual Celebrity 5K Fun Run Walk on June 11th, 2016. Uh, Arlington High School girls and boys cross country teams. That was my sport. We have a request for, actually two requests for contractor drain layer license, Asphalt Services Inc. 210 <coughs> New Boston Street, Woburn, Mass. That's my sport. <laughs> and Uticon <laughs> LLC 294 Lowell Street, Lexington, Mass. Do I first have a motion? So moved. Moved by Mr. Burns. Second. second. By Mr. Greeley. Is there anyone here to speak to these events? Uh, Mr. Dunn. Noting that the portion of the walk that's on the bike path is actually under the town manager's approval. Correct. Yeah. You know, they, they've submitted documentation as well. Okay. Did Any you okay it? Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 they have to walk, stop. Yeah. 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 They submitted documentation, period. My daughter's on the cross-country team, so I hope you did. Okay, um, uh, motion by Mr. Burns, seconded by... Mr. Greeley. Mr. Greeley. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, unanimous vote. We now have appointments, Board of Youth Services. We have Kristen Barnacle, Kimberly Kayer. Terms to expire June 30th, 2019. Mr. Chatelaine, or should I call upon? I think you can you could call them up individually if you'd like, or whatever your prerogative is. Okay, Kristen and Kimberly, or Chris and Kim, whichever you like. You, you can tell us at the microphone if you can just come up and say your name and uh, interest in serving uh, on the uh, Board of Youth Services. Et I'm Kristen Barnacle, and uh, I've lived in Arlington since 2010. It's an honor to meet you all. I voted for you all. Move approval. Move approval again. <laughs> so I have uh, had limited involvement in the community because I'm a single mom with a teenage son, and um, I'm finally at a point where I have some time to give back to the community. And I work in community health at Partners Healthcare. Um, I work a lot with community health centers. Um, so basically what we do is provide funding and help strengthen their operations. And so, you know, I think I can offer to the AYCC some of those connections, you know, definitely my passion for children's mental health. So uh, I'm eager, I've been working in community in Boston and on the North Shore, but I'm eager to spend some time in my own community. So, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kim Kerr, and i am uh, lived in Arlington for 20 years with my husband, Mike, who some of you might know on the Redevelopment Board. I'll fess that up right now. <laughs> but, but we have his better half here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there you go, Diane. <laughs> um, and we've raised our kids. We have a daughter in college, a son in the high school, and a third, uh, second son at Audison. Um, and we've been really so thankful, as Kristen said, to be in this community and just want to give back. Um, I've been on the board of the Arlington Belmont crew team and PTO co-president bracket. Um, so now as my kids get older, I have a little bit more time. And I uh, have volunteered and currently work part-time at the children's room. Um, and uh, volunteered with the kids. As if any of you don't know, the Children's Room provides grief support for families who have had a parent or a child die. And it's an amazing organization. I give tours if anyone ever is interested in coming. And uh, so I've done, I um, currently work part-time on the development team doing fundraising. So I have some background in grant writing and fundraising and would really just like to be able to share some of that um, with the town and AYCC and feel strongly about giving the kids support. And um, so really just welcome the opportunity to help out. It sounds like a great team and um, to be a part of it. So thank you. 
Thank you. Mr. Greeley. Uh, Reverend Bell, did you vote for all of us? <laughs> oh, uh, at least yeah. one. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> the best looking one? You don't have to answer that. But, but no, both of, you, both of you, thank you very much. Extraordinary backgrounds, and thank you so much for your willingness to uh, help the community. Uh, really appreciate it very much. Thank you. Mr. Carroll. I, I'm just, I'm very impressed with how, how appropriate and, and um, you know, unmark your backgrounds are between community health. You worked, I saw you worked in medical security, uh, children's medical security, and the children's room and such, and I, I think you will help to continue, make the Board of Youth Services really one of our most effective boards for one, you know, bright uh, human service that, that really not too many communities can boast of. So thank you very much for your willingness to serve. Okay, it was a photo finish, but on a motion by Mr. Carroll, seconded by Mr. Grayley. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those aye. opposed, welcome. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. We next have an appointment to the Human Rights Commission. Wendy Bell, term to expire June 30th, 2019. Hi, Wendy. This is Reverend Bell. Sorry. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Um, so my name is Wendy Bell. I don't always have green hair, but it was crazy hair day at the bracket today, so I'm in support of my... <laughs> oh, I've been there, I've been there. Uh, uh, so my partner, Kathy, and I have lived in Arlington for 12 or so years, and we have a second grader, as I said, at the bracket. Um, and I've been looking for ways to get involved in town, and this seemed like a very good opportunity that matches my passion. I am um, absolutely passionate about people being treated fairly and about justice and making sure that everyone's rights get respected. So I was glad to see this opportunity come up and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Mr. Dunn? For the record, I didn't think twice about the hair. Fantastic. It's like, <laughs> it's like there it is, all right. Um, I thank you very much for volunteering. Exactly like the previous, you know, we love the volunteers and the caliber and the skills that they bring. And uh, we really appreciate you volunteering and giving time to the town. Yeah, thank you. Okay, on a motion um, so moved. by Second. Mr. Dunn, seconded by Mr. Byrne. Um, any further discussion? I saw the Andover Newton Theological School uh, yeah. in your background, and I, as a youth uh, um, at my church, they always had a camp out there. And oh, it was yeah. interesting way back then, because I'm an ancient person now, um, one of the things that was always sort of, not drummed into us, but definitely highlighted was, you know, treating others fairly and equitably and, and <coughs> really being kind to everybody. Yeah. And I really appreciate your remarks from the microphone yeah. that you really sort of just... Uh, parroted that back to us, so, um, and I can tell you, you're definitely passionate about it. Um, any further discussion, if not? No, I just need to apologize. Of course, I was looking at the wrong resume last, but Reverend Bell, thank you very much for your willingness to serve. Thank you. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, once again, our thank yous. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Uh, agenda item 10, sorry, my novice is just like, it's on, but it's a little slow. A request for a Class II license, G.A. McHale, Auto Works, Inc., doing business as L. Wife Automotive Center, George McHale, 10 Sunnyside Ave, Arlington, Mass. Um, don't believe he's here. Uh, is Move approval. Moved by Mr. Second. Burns, seconded by Mr. Greeley. Any questions? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Unanimous vote. <laughs> Excuse me. We now have agenda item 11. I see we have... Uh, Arlington Committee on Tourism and Economic Development Representative Tom Davison for approval. The Arlington Alive Summer Street Arts Block Party, Saturday, June 25th, 2016, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have uh, restrictions and street closures from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Broadway and Mass Ave, Broadway at Alton, and Broadway before the fire station. Uh, request for performances and boots on Broadway Plaza, the use of the parking spaces on Broadway in front of the Veterans Memorial, a uh, temporary bus stop to be relocated on the Mass Ave side of the Veterans Memorial, the hanging of 12 pole banners in Arlington Center, suspension of parking fees, and the Russell Common Lot. Tom, Mr. Davison. Hi, thank you. I hope you're all, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope you're all well, well this evening. Uh, so this will be the fourth year that we'll be doing the Summer Arts Block Party, and it's been a big success, and people are now are starting to expect it, which is kind of nice, but it's also, they're starting to expect it, so <laughs> it also <laughs> has another level of work uh, to it. But we have a great person that we've been able to bring on board, Marga Vera, who's a, um, a town citizen, and she's been doing a great job really kind of rallying around this. We have 
This year we have Robin's Libraries participating, the Aunt and Friends for the Dramas participating for the first time, which is, which is exciting. Mm. Um, so it's looking to shape up to be a good day. Um, I did want to mention too that um, we do have Saturday, June 25th, but there is a, a rain date uh, for Sunday, June 26th that uh, these same uh, requests would apply to that date as well. Okay, just a nitpicky um, question. Is it a suspension of parking fees in the Russell Common lot, or is it going to be a waiver? Or does it not matter? It says waiver in the request. It says suspension in the agenda. I think they would functionally achieve the, achieve the same. But yeah, I think it would be a waiver. OK. So just whoever makes that motion under um, 11F, waiver of parking fees. Suspension to me means enforcement will go out and then or whatever. But it says waiver in the original request. Whoever makes the original motion, if you could just add that as a friendly amendment. Uh, anyone to move approval? Yeah, I move approval of the Kira? request as, uh, as presented to us, uh, substituting the word suspension for waiver. Okay, is there a second? second. Mr. Byrne, um, any further discussion? If not, all those in, oh, Mr. Kira, I'm sorry. No, I just want to thank Mr. Davison for bringing it forward. I, I haven't been as involved in this as I have in, in past, past years, but I know that, um, you know, part of the intention, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but, but part of the intention of um, ATED was to try to help get the festival up and off the ground and to try to pull in more um, uh, involvement uh, by the, the local merchants. And from what I can see, that that's actually been happening uh, quite a bit, and I think that's a positive um, Positive development. It's always tough when you when you um, are getting something rolling and uh, to to, to uh, give it wings. But it looks like uh, this now it does have wings, and uh, it's been a you know trial and error. Uh, I I know that last year there was an attempt to extend it to the green, and it was a little bit too dispersed at that point. So I think this is this uh, is um, it's great the work that you and and the rest of the merchants have been doing. And I'm sorry I'll miss it this year. <laughs> I'll oh, be out of, out, of, out of the country, so. I'm sure that's for a good reason, yes. <laughs> yeah. And just two other quick um, questions. Uh, the notification of the MBTA regarding the bus stop. I'm assuming you and or the town manager who's coordinating that? Uh, I think in the past we've coordinated that with the Arlington Police Department. So yeah, anything? Corey with working with, <coughs> excuse me, Corey working with Laura will manage that. And that may be the same answer for my second question in, in terms of the um, one recommended police officer that will be there, that will be uh, that person's designation location will be determined either by the yeah, chief at, or at the, Yeah, at the point of need, where, wherever it's most needed. Okay, all right, that's fine. On a motion by Mr. Carroll with the um, <coughs> suspension change to waive or seconded by Mr. Byrne, any further questions? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, unanimous vote. And now, me facetiously saying, not you. My favorite item of the year. <laughs> discussion. Well you're free. You're done. <laughs> you're free. <laughs> Thanks. Unless you're coming to our goal setting. Unless right? you want to discuss scheduling the goal setting session, our uh, preeminent town manager, Mr. Chapdelay, Mr. Greeley. I uh, move we table that this item 12 until uh, December. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll pass the gap. No. <laughs> no. Mr. Chapdelay. It's always at the board's. Uh, Discretion. Boy, discretion. Yeah. It's like a dentist appointment. We need to get it over sooner rather than later. But once it's over, we're glad with we all did it. Respect. No, I'm, I'm teasing. Go ahead, Mr. Chapman. Uh, so with, thank you for that <laughs> exactly. warm introduction to this agenda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it is that time of year where we pick a date. Uh, the past couple of years, I believe, or I think every year we've picked a Saturday in June. Mm -hmm. uh, I know June is busy this year with a number of things happening. If we you know, need to slide to July and can make it work, I think that's fine. Uh, but uh, just open to hearing what uh, if we can find a Saturday that works for everybody and see if we can pick that date. Okay, if everyone feels comfortable in getting their calendars out for a Saturday in June, do you anticipate a time range? I think we've done um, I think we've done nine to noon in the past. Does that yeah. sound right? Mm -hmm. okay. Nine to eleven sounds right. no, no, no. Why don't we say nine and no later than noon? Does that sound? Yeah, feasible to everybody. I mean, but we don't have to necessarily go to <coughs> um, the first two weekends for me. The fourth, well, the f definitely the fourth's difficult, but I can't do the eleventh. In fact, really, the eighteenth is the only Saturday that really works in June. I perhaps could make the twenty-fifth work. How does eighteen look for everybody? No. How does twenty-five? No. That's pretty hard. Okay. Um, 
I mean, if I had to, I could skip fourth. It's just on my graduation. Does it want to move into July? I'm looking at everyone's faces. Yes. It'd be better for me, but huh? July would be better for me. What dates in July do you have? Why don't we start there? Well, I, I'm, July I'm fine. How about it's, July 9th? It's June I have problems, yeah. How about July 9th? How about July 16th? How about July 16th? July 16th works better for me. Okay. I think so. I think that's fine. Okay. So July 16th at 9 a.m. in the? Town Manager's Conference Room. Town Manager's Conference Room to go no later than 12 noon, unless we really feel like we need to. All right. And uh, I'll leave it to Mr. Chapdelaine to... Would we end up on, sorry? July 16th? Uh, July 16th, 9 a.m. in the town manager's conference room, second floor. Okay. I think we've actually done to 12.30 before. I mean, to, excuse me, to 11.30. Yeah. So I think yeah. the 12 will be, yeah. we can yeah. do it. Yeah. And I don't mean to, I am making fun of it, and I shouldn't, because the past uh, couple of years, at least last year, the one that I remember with Mr. Chapdelaine, it actually was a very um, useful yeah, I, I think it is a helpful. I think it's Two generally one of the most productive discussions we it, have all year, actually. Yeah, it really is. So I, I, I apologize I know, for having kidding. fun with it. It's just, you know, me on a Saturday and nothing. Oh, no, I know. I, I get it now. No, no but. Well, um, if we're here I, past noon, Mr. Greeley will buy his lunch. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh, I'll buy it if we start at 11. Yeah, and yeah. It <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we have correspondence received. A motion to move receipt by? So moved. Mr. Dunn, seconded by? Second. Mr. Byrne, and we have uh, three agenda items. Two, uh, one of the three, I think we just received the, uh, well, let me see what my colleagues say. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, move that we send the speed table request to TAC um, and move receipt of the other two. Okay. That's fine. I think there might be somebody here to speak to one of them. Um, is there anyone here that would like to speak to um, any items under correspondence received? The speed table, name change, or the uh, letter from uh, Superintendent Boquellen? Yes. Sorry about that. Thank you, uh, Mr. I'm not really. Hi, Mel Goldsipe, Arlington Human Rights Commission. Um, I wanted to talk about the considering a name change to the Board of Selectmen from Board of Selectmen to Select Board. I'm not the one who submitted it. I don't know the person who submitted it, but since it was there, I figured I would take the opportunity to speak about it. It's something I had actually mentioned offhand to Adam a couple of months ago. Um, so I don't, is, do you hold a hearing? I, I don't know what happens at this point when you respond to a correspondence received. No, if you'd like to make some remarks to it and then um, the chair um, in consultation with um, the, the rest of the board and the town manager will see where it goes forward in the future. Okay, the, then I will read some appropriately short it. remarks. Thank you. Um, I get nervous, that's why it's all written out. <laughs> um, so thank you, Chair Diane Mahan, for allowing me to speak tonight. The presence of a woman on this board is a great model for girls growing up right now. It plants the seed that a career in politics is a viable opportunity for them. While some people who are not male are clearly not discouraged from running for office as a select man, some will be, and that's a problem we should correct. Last week, oh, you're going to tell that I'm really not local. I don't know how to pronounce this. Southwick? Southwick? I don't know this town. Yeah. <laughs> um, Southwick's town meeting voted to change their board of selectmen to a select board, and that made it the 19th in Massachusetts to do so, <laughs> and I think Arlington should be next. Um, and here are a couple of reasons why. An important way to encourage full participation in the political process is to remove barriers that make people feel unwelcome, such as non-inclusive language. If we want children of all genders to feel free to run for office, we must remove outdated gendered language like the Board of Select Men, which sends a message to impressionable children that men are the only ones who shape our town. Messages like that can restrict how they imagine their own future. I understand that people have an emotional attachment to our town's traditions, even down to what we call things, but equality of opportunity is more important than sentimentality. Perhaps everyone knows that select men doesn't really mean just men, but children don't reason the same way that adults do. If it were really true, it seems likely that this board would include more women than just one. 
I also know that changes like this feel like a nuisance. There are a lot of hoops to jump through. But it's worth putting in the work so that the next generation of leaders includes all of the best quality candidates. Politics works best when everyone is free to participate. It's not enough to remove prohibitions, such as finally allowing everyone to vote. We need to actively welcome everyone's contributions. And that's why the Human Rights Commission supports this change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Meg. Um, what I, Mr. Greeley? Well, uh, I, I want to thank you. That was a very well presented, cogent argument that I disagree with, but uh, very well done. And, and <laughs> well, of course, and, and so I should be the last to speak on it since I am a select man. Uh, but when this board had three women, mm -hmm. the majority, they brought, and Ms. Mahan may wish to speak to this, but that dis this discussion was also held and they agreed to keep it at Board of Select Men. Um, that doesn't surprise me at all. Okay. There are, there's a lot of reasons for that, and I would never speak for Ms. Mahan, but um, it is a problem for women in politics to appear to be putting forth gendered-related um, legislation. Right. They can't, in order to be electable, they can't really um, go on that platform. It makes them seem like they're only a candidate for women as opposed to for the whole town, which makes it harder to be elected. I mean, I, if I had had more time, <laughs> I could have brought a whole bunch of information about that, and I can come back and do that if you wish, <laughs> but um, that is pretty well documented that, so, so that if I many can... women don't feel comfortable saying that something bothers them when they do. Okay, if I could continue, but yes. yeah, thank you for those. Uh, the, um, uh, as I say, this was at the time when the majority of this board were three, was three women mm -hmm. out of five. Um, in the mid 1800s, one of the Robbins sisters was elected to the Arlington School Committee well before women even had the right to vote. Um, I'm, and by way of saying we have a proud tradition in Arlington of contributions by women. But I'll shut up from there because I'm a select <laughs> man. Okay, um, Mr. Kiro. I mean, I think it's reasonable for us to maybe just consider discussing in the okay. in the context of our of our uh, goal setting and whether there's any further. Glad to actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. And, and I'm uncharacteristically for me totally blanking on, um, I except Mr. Greeley that we discussed it, um, but. <laughs> It, it might be the past couple of weeks that I have, but I, I think Mr. Kira has a very good suggestion that we'll initially um, discuss it at a goal setting meeting, and then from there um, discuss the appropriate venue to um, address it uh, at a future meeting or future forum or questionnaire or you know I don't want to speak for my colleagues because we haven't had the meeting yet. So right. So and I also understand that even if there's unanimous support here, that doesn't mean it would go through town meeting easily. Mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. that it would require work. Okay. Thank you. And, for being... and an active legislature. Yes. 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 Can we ask that of Doug? But Is there are a there are 19 team? precedents already. Okay. In that, you know what? I gave you so <laughs> much. I'm going to ask you to sit down now, not Absolutely. to be disrespectful. Um, just that I don't want to set a precedence for other correspondence received. I've already kind of bent it already. Um, anyone from this side? Did I see a hand or no? If, Attorney Hine. If I may, um, Madam Chair. Uh, just uh, one of the things that I can do is it's actually a slightly different situation in every community. So uh, I would presume that it would be something that would have to go to town meeting and require special legislation. But uh, in order to be confident of that, I'd actually have to do a fairly thorough review of previous changes to the Town Manager Act um, and probably some things before that because at least in, I'm fairly certain, I'm not sure about Southwick, but at least in one or two other circumstances, it turned out that uh, the board had more discretion uh, without going to town meeting. So I'll make sure to try to vet that as thoroughly as I can so this board can be apprised of all of its options. As long as the town manager is um, amicable yep, to absolutely. doing that. Okay. Not trying to, you know, create any cumbersome task. Okay. On a motion um, by Mr. Dunn, seconded by Mr. Byrne. Mr. Byrne recommending that the speed table requests be referred to ITAC, uh, the name change regarding the board of selectmen. Not ITAC, to TAC. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. That's where my brain is. 
Um, the only other question I would have, either to the town manager or to our vice chairman, Mr. Dunn, um, the letter from <coughs> Superintendent Boquellen, I murdered that name, is there anything that we should or could do, or we just receive that letter and let him carry that, Ballywick? Yes. yes. Okay. If the board wishes to hear more about Minuteman, I can tell you whatever you'd like to hear, but there's nothing in specific we need to do for that letter. Okay. Um, I, I would just ask, just very briefly, if there's any next step regarding Minuteman so, meeting, anything? Yep. Um, so this morning, um, Adam and I were in Lexington talking to Belmont and a, a few other people, and we, uh, we certainly didn't solve anything, um, but we did have a productive <laughs> meeting. And we have invited the other six full 16 towns here on June 20th, which is, of course, the Monday after our uh, debt exclusion vote. Mm. And that will be a good time for us to, you know, it'll be like one more fact will have been settled, whether, you know, whether or not Arlington is going to support it. And we are going to keep, this kind of, there's, a, there's a path which is, I'm hoping that the more we educate Belmont about the alternatives and how, in my opinion, dismal they are, that they will follow up a path similar to Arlington and come around. So what I'm trying to do is I want to put more, I've just I've described it as I want to put more time on the clock. Because I think with more time on the clock, we can persuade uh, Belmont. If we, even if we fail at persuading Belmont, we still have to figure out what to do next. Mm -hmm. And so that's what that meeting is about. Like. It's kind of dual purpose, both talking about what's next and using what's next to, to persuade them. Um, I don't know if I... So I June 20th at what time? Uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so a motion by Mr. Dunn, seconded by Mr. Byrne, referral to TAC. So mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I say, I Jack. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, those opposed. Before I um, accept a motion to adjourn, I just want to say our next scheduled meeting for the Board of Selectmen on June 6, 2016, I have asked um, the town manager and attorney Heim, um, we will be having two hearings unless something happens that, no that night regarding um, alcohol, alleged alcohol violations. Um, I have asked Mr. Chapdelaine and attorney Heim um, uh, on one of the uh, hearings that we'll have to provide some sort of targeted information and guidance and perhaps legal ruling or, or advice in terms of um, what m may or will be pr presented to us. So I just want to let the rest of my colleagues on the board who are already aware of that um, just look for whatever's in our Novus agenda and or comes sooner than that in an email. Am I paraphrasing that appropriately? Yeah, I think that's very fair. Um, uh, with that, I'll take a motion to adjourn by... No oh, business. sorry. I would, do you want to do new business? I would love to. Okay, Mrs. Kropelka, new business? Sunday and Monday. Okay. <coughs> Attorney Heim? Just one quick matter. I just want to uh, publicly thank the staff of the legal department, including uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Marlenga, uh, Patricia Yorston, Joanne Kennedy, and Peter Buckley for their um, terrific work in helping the legal department get prepared for town meeting what's been a busy season. So my um, thanks to all of them. Mr. Chaplain? So if the, if the board would indulge me, I received an email from Arlington Cooperative Elder Services asking if we could acknowledge, and I think the board will be asked to acknowledge uh, via a proclamation, the 100th birthday of an Arlington resident. So Joseph Cam Cormier turned 100 just this past Sunday, so just yesterday. He was born on May 22nd, 1916 in Fitchburg, Mass. He was the first lieutenant in the Army and uh, fought in World War II. He returned to Arlington, Mass., where he married his beloved wife, Rosaline, of nearly 68 years. Together, they raised two beautiful daughters, Susan and Diane. Cam has one grandchild, and he continues to reside, uh, reside in Arlington. Cam likes to be busy, often heard saying, what should I do next? He loves to do word games and puzzles. Cam attends Cooperative Elder Services in Arlington, where he has many friends. So happy, happy 100th birthday to Cam, and just wanted to give him sort of this public shout out. Thank you. Happy birthday, Cam. Happy birthday. That's all I have. That's, That's awesome. Mr. Greer, I think you just did a proclamation this afternoon. So oh, perfect. Grandson's going to get this. Like, oh, awesome. Great. Time. Good timing. Mr. Greer? Happy birthday, Mr. Cormier. And um, 
I want to thank Marie, Doug, and Adam, and our chair for all of the work you all did to help us in terms of getting through this past town meeting. It's quite a bit of work and uh, always well done. That's it. Mr. Byrne. Um, yeah, yesterday I uh, actually attended a, um, a great breakfast with some uh, students from Arlington Catholic and their family. Um, one was uh, Nikki Doherty, who is, um, of course, my fiance's little sister. And then uh, Lou Doherty, who uh, there is no relation. But uh, they did grow up and went to St. Agnes and now Arlington Catholic together. Um, but I just want to recognize them as um, winning the Central Catholic League Sportsmanship Award. So um, both for their, uh, their standouts on, um, you know, in both their athletic and academic uh, pursuits. So um, congratulations to them. And um, it's nice to, uh, it was a really nice breakfast to attend. You married into a great family. Huh. <laughs> and anything else, Mr. Burns? That's it. Mr. Carroll. Thank you. I just want to uh, congratulate actually the Rockin' Robbins, the uh, Robbins Library uh, book cart drill team, which came in second place in the Mass Library Association's yes. book cart drill team mm -hmm. competition. And their YouTube video is, is available online, and it is hilarious. But I can't get the song out of my head. Mm -hmm. the, what is the Bruno Mars song. So. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, three items, but I'll be brief, uh, in order of importance. First off, June 14th is a big vote. We are going to be voting on three different debt exclusions, and I am happy to support, say that I'm supporting, as you all know, yes on all three. And if you want to learn more, go to buildarlingtonsfuture.org. Once again, buildarlingtonsfuture.org. Mm which has uh, a lot of information, particularly I recommend the FAQ. Um, I got a note from a colleague today at work who said, this was particularly well written. And I was like, I agree with you, and I didn't do it. So <laughs> and I think there are a lot of people who are working on uh, that site and that campaign, and uh, I encourage people to uh, learn about them and then get out on vote on June 14th. In declining importance from there, I'm working on, I've got um, at least one constituent who's very excited about modifying the block party approval process and specific to um, lower it from 100% assent to 100% notification with something like 80% agreement. And so I'm going to ask the chair to put that on a future um, agenda, please. And last but certainly not least, as the final meeting before Memorial Day, I hope that the chair will soon announce that, fut that the summer meetings are indeed business schedule. <laughs> 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 thank you. That's all I got. Okay. Thank you. And, and thank you for bringing up about the June 14th vote. Um, myself with uh, the chair of the school committee, Jennifer Seuss, as well as uh, Steve DeCourcy, who serves on the finance committee, but finance committee is a apolitical body, uh, co-chairing that. I, I would ask everyone who watches this selectman meeting live or a replay there are going to be many forums. Um, Mr. Dunn uh, cited Build Arlington's Future uh, website, the Facebook page. Tomorrow night uh, here at the high school, there'll be a forum regarding uh, discussion around middle school, um, what the middle school should and could look like in the future. I know Steve Lig Liggett and others are working on with John Griffin from the Arlington Housing Authority to getting into our senior um, housing complexes to um, explain what the June 14th vote is and what its impacts not only will be, but also sort of what some of the re relief um, could be because everybody working um, on this de debt exclusion, which is a phase one, um, similar to what uh, is being done in Lexington, um, we anticipate a phase two um, after uh, hopefully a successful June 14th vote with the $2 million plans for Arlington High School being approved three to five years out, we'll, we'll actually have to go back to the voters in terms of um, building, rebuilding, or re renovating Arlington High School. Um, uh, I would encourage everybody to uh, really look at all the information that's out there. I do want to thank the town manager and the assistant town manager? Deputy, Deputy town, town manager, Sandy Pooler, um, who has provided every member of the Board of Selectmen here today. Um, I hope I'm paraphrasing this correctly. Or uh, a request came from the senior center regarding some information about the debt exclusion, what it entailed, what it, do you want to, am I going to? Yeah, so there has been, um, 
That, that's accurate. A lot of questions coming from uh, attendees at the senior center. So uh, at the suggestion of the COA director and director of health and human services, we're going to put together a one-page informational uh, insert just laying out what the questions actually are asking for and what the tax impacts would be uh, to put into the senior newsletter. And then we'll also put together an informational session where I'll make myself the superintendent and try to get somebody from Minuteman available to answer any questions that residents might have. And uh, I'll leave it to the town manager, whether at the June 6th meeting, whether it's an agenda item or perhaps something under new business where I know there's been some preliminary figures um, that you have presented in that one-page summary, one-page graph regarding what the tax impact um, would be to the average homeowner. I don't, I don't want to say from my memory right now because my brain hasn't been working too well, but maybe that's something we can announce on June 6th, unless you want to say it tonight. I mean, I have, I know you provided, I believe, a preliminary draft quarterly figure as well as a yearly figure for the average homeowner. So if you want to say it tonight or do you want to wait? Or maybe no, no, no. The, the, the impact that has been provided by the town manager's office for the average Single family tax bill is $245 a year for all three questions combined. Okay, so that's all three, which myself and my colleagues <coughs> will be voting for all three. Um, uh, if, if there is anything else, if not, I'll take a motion to adjourn by so Mr. Gr Byrne, seconded by Second. Mr. Kiro. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous vote. See you on June 6th.